All right, more on Mexican soccer now. Have you seen this? Rafa Marquez has been announced as the new manager for Barcelona Athletic, uh, better known as Barca's B team. What a style. He's going to play in third tier, managing the third tier of Spanish football. He, of course, uh, played for Barcelona for seven years between 2003 and 2010, won a couple Champions Leagues and uh, four La Liga titles. Herc, what's a better first job? It's not technically his first job, but what's a better job to launch your managerial career? Barca B or something in Liga MX? Can I ask you a question before I answer? What's the biggest club in Mexico? America. Club America is the biggest club in Mexico for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, yeah. There was a guy named Santiago Solari who came from Real Madrid B, Casablanca. Mm -hmm. Literally the equivalent of Barcelona where Rafa Marquez was. And the most he achieved was an interim tag at Real Madrid. And he became head coach of Club America. The biggest club in Mexican football, according to you. So now you're asking me what's better, Barcelona mm -hmm. B or anywhere in Liga MX? It's Barcelona B, man. You're literally one stop, one spot, one step away from being the head coach of one of the biggest brands, one of the most legendary clubs in world football. It has to be Barcelona B. This is an unreal opportunity for Rafa Marquez. And the question, quite frankly, is insulting. You insulted me. Wow. You wouldn't, so, I mean, obviously, a Liga Mackey's job would be more high profile on, in this hemisphere, right? right? More people here are going to pay attention to it. Probably a higher paying job, too. Yeah. But, man, yeah. the shelf life. So, I'm thinking more about it just like first gig. He's going to have an incredible leash, right? Not only is he club legend is probably too strong, but a big name at Barcelona. No, I think he's, La, you know, that's La a legendary Porta team he him. played for him. Yeah, yeah. Like, Laporta absolutely loves him, so he's going to have a long leash. They're in the third tier. Uh, there will be some pressure. The guy who couldn't get him up to the second division last year is obviously gone, but it won't be anywhere near the pressure. He's got a two-year contract. And to your point, I mean, there's obviously the Santi Solari example. There's a Pep Guardiola example, right? You yeah. can go from Barcelona B to a lot of places. I don't think he's going to step into the Barcelona job, but if you have success at, at this spot, you could get, in theory, another pretty decent-sized European job. And if Rafa Marquez at, he's 43 now, I think, in his mid-40s had, like, a big job in Europe or a solid club job in Europe, that would be a huge step for Mexican football. Yeah, he's got, and I say this with the most, upper, the most respect I can, he's got the stench of Barcelona on him. And now if they happen to be successful, the mm -hmm. first team, and you're with uh, the Barcelona Bet team, with a, and I will say legendary center back. There are very few center backs in the world, especially at that time, that came out playing the way he did. There's a reason he's there. They want to instill that Barcelona from the back philosophy, and there's no better man for that because of what he did as a player. Now, as a coach, a lot to be seen. Okay, mm -hmm. no body of work. His first job that he's had in football was Atlas. He was a, a directivo. He was part of the, uh, if you will, a board of directors. No, not board of directors. Um, the, what do you call it there? Uh, front office, thank you, front office uh, of, of Atlas and left a lot to be desired. Did not go his way, um, did not lead the way maybe he would have liked. This seems like a move for me with a huge upside, very little downside there for Rafa Marquez. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.